with the 18th pick, Dalen Terry is going to head to Chicago. So we got to check in with Pat, the designer from Locked On Bulls. Pat, what was your immediate reaction when you hear this is the pick officially for them at 18? Uh, I think we, uh, I think most of Chicago was very shocked uh, because I think a lot of us had gotten our hearts set on EJ Liddell being the pick. But as we've seen, EJ Liddell has, uh, I, I don't even know if you could say is dropping, it has dropped, uh, is plummeting in the draft. So clearly teams know something we don't. Um, but Dale and Terry, again, at 18, the Bulls were going to go get a glue guy no matter what it was going to be. Dale and Terry seems like he's going to be a glue guy, facilitates the ball well, uh, is has, has the ability to attack the rim, big body, 7-2 wingspan. Can't go wrong with that kind of pick, and is, especially if he can kind of develop along in the NBA. Talking yourself into it, sounds like. We're going to check in with our national host, of course, Richard Stamen, Leaf to Leaf, NBA big board here. So, Leaf, I'll, I'll check in with you. Was this a good pick? Is this a good fit here for Chicago at this point in the draft? Yeah, I think Dale and Terry really uh, took a huge leap in the draft boards uh, because he he started off lower on box and he's now picked number 18. I think it was higher than uh, most people saw, but Dale and Terry is a glue guy, really good defender, facilitates well, shot 36% from three um, despite being considered a questionable shooter. He was the engine, the catalyst for an Arizona team uh, that was arguably the best team in the country throughout the entire season. And his defense, energy, transition ability were really um, excellent contributors to that team. The one question I'd have about this pick is that Io DeSumo plays a similar role for the Bulls, and you wonder if it's redundant, but there's never too many glue guys, connective tissue um, type of guys that you can have on a team. And I'm, I'm one of Dale and Terry's supporters, so... I, I like the pick for the Bulls, and I think the defense is something you can certainly never have too much of. Pat Leaf has just mentioned it, but how do you see him fitting in immediately? Obviously, as a glue guy, you want to come in and just fill whatever role is necessary for this team, but can he have an immediate impact for Chicago? I think he can, right? The Bulls struggled uh, defensively at times last season due to all the injuries. I think he's somebody that can come out and he he can make a name for himself, much like Ayo DeSumo did on the defensive end and be somebody that the Bulls can can put in there in certain moments. And listen, if you can throw some offense on top of that, we're all for it. Uh, after we watched how the, the offense kind of sputtered at the end of the playoffs there uh, uh, facing the Milwaukee Bucks, I think for me the biggest concern uh, uh, with a Dalen Terry coming in is not even about Dalen Terry, but about – what it uh, uh, it means for Lonzo Ball, right? Like like we heard, that's going to be a huge question mark because Io DeSumo is a very similar player, and we've heard we haven't heard much on a Lonzo Ball update. I'm concerned. Is this a bigger uh, statement in the Bulls point guard room for me? Um, Richard, I'll bring you in here now. At this point in the draft, when you're getting in a later first round, what are you hoping to get out of the players that you're making this selection, obviously with Dale and Terry here headed to the Bulls? Yeah, you want somebody who can be a rotation player that may be able to grow into somebody that could be a starter. This is almost a lottery ticket area. Uh, around the 20th pick, the odds of being somebody who sticks in the league starts to slowly decline. Uh, Dale and Terry, though, I think when you look at the stats for him really underestimate him. You look at single-digit scoring, but the final 12 games, this is halfway through February to the end of the season, including the NCAA tournament, this is somebody who could be a really hidden upside player. Again, 6'7", with an over 7-foot wingspan, 10 points per game, 4 rebounds a game, 3.7 assists per game, 1.3 steals, and that's on 55% from the field and 48% from three on two attempts per game. So there's some really hidden upside with Daylon Terry. He would have been somebody who grows into a potential All-American as a junior. Instead, he's going to make the jump in the NBA. So Chicago could get some really good insurance with him. I'm, I'm a big fan of the pick. And Pat, to close things out, obviously with the selection already made, where do you see the Bulls going from here? What are some needs that need to be addressed now going forward? Well, you still need some big man help on this team. Uh, I think that it's it, making this pick and not trading this pick is a statement that uh, AK does believe a little bit in some of the guys that he has in here. He believes in Patrick Williams. He believes in Marco Semenovich coming in and giving you some help uh, at that center position. But I would still like to see the Bulls go out and get somebody that can help Nikola Vucevic. Nikola Vucevic is an excellent player. He may not be the greatest defender on the floor, but when you ask him to stand down there and just, hey, we need you to not only be the post 
uh, the paint protector, but also the guy that gets all the boards, also the guy that plays with his back to the basket. You're asking a lot for a guy at that point, uh, especially when you, the, the biggest guy next to him for most of the season was 6-4. So I'd really like to see the Bulls go out, maybe find some shooting, but I think the most important thing is going to be finding somebody on that backside that can come off of the bench for them and, and be able to give that that uh, uh, rebounding and defense that we really hoped we were going to get out of Tony Bradley last season that just never appeared. <laughs> Now, as for what you're actually going to be getting out of Terry, we're going to check in with our, one of our local hosts, Locked On Wildcats, Mike Luke, has more for us. Dalen Terry, small forward, University of Arizona. Dalen Terry emerged this past year as one of the best defensive perimeter players in the entire Pac-12 conference. I'm the host of Locked On Wildcats, Mike Luke. Dalen Terry went from little used reserve as a freshman to becoming one of the most valued players on the Arizona roster from facilitating to defense to rebounding to pushing the break. Terry was somewhat of a jack of all trades with his length, athleticism and skill set. He could be a great fit for a lucky NBA team. 